What is up, everyone? It is Michelle Alexandria coming at you with another video. Today, I'm on camera for a change. Actually, I tried to do this video while I went for my uh, morning jaw this morning, and I looked the right mess. So I was like, you know what? Even I can't keep the, have that video out there. So I took it down. And this is the second shot at trying to do this. But today is Friday, April 21st. And you know where I will be tomorrow? I will be in Las Vegas, baby. That's right, it's happening. It is gonna happen yet again for the 10th time in a row. I am going to CinemaCon. Woot! I got my, uh, I got the super secret all access press pass again. And I gotta say, I am always shocked when people still support me. So I'm really pleasantly surprised. Actually, I'm thinking about trying to go to Tribeca TV in, in June and maybe get some coverage of that. But it may be a little too late for me to apply for that. But maybe I'll, I'll try to apply for that next week, um, while they're in the next week or so. But anyway, uh, CinemaCon. CinemaCon is happening next week. And for those of you who don't know, CinemaCon is an annual show put on by NATO, the National Association of Television uh, Theater Owners. And basically what happens is Hollywood brings out their big guns. They come to Vegas to smooth and kiss uh, theater owners' uh, butts. And from my perspective, it's great because you can, you can get a year's worth of coverage and news out of CinemaCon if you do it right, because all the studios are there. They put try to put their best foot forward and do major presentations and surprise screenings and super early event screenings. They really try to get the movie theater owners excited. And then by the same token, theater owners are screaming and yelling at the uh, studios about how they're being screwed. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, it's actually a really cool show because when I used to go to Comic Con all the time, I would actually get all my TV coverage done at Comic Con, but I would still get all my my movie stuff done at Cinema Con. Um, so, but I haven't gone to Comic Con in a few years. That show's been a mess and hard to kind of navigate and try to figure out how to get my credentials uh, renewed. It's been a mess. Um, I need to figure that out because I like to do go back to Comic-Con next year and make a triumphant return to Comic-Con and cover TV and do some other cool stuff. Um, I used to be somebody. I used to be somebody, people. So anyway, uh, that's what gets CinemaCon. And as you know, I don't cover the sausage making of movies or any of that kind of stuff. I like to let, I like to see a movie fresh and and enjoy it for what it is and review it if I'm if I feel so inclined. What I don't care about is I don't care about casting news. I don't care about who's doing what to whom. All I care about is I want to see the footage and then I'll start making judgment calls at that point. But I don't get I'm not one who gets excited about excited or upset over who's who's casting what project or and I don't like the traffic and rumors. I like the traffic and what is. And that's kind of how I approach CinemaCon as well. I have no idea what to expect. It's, I have some inklings uh, uh, what, what to expect at CinemaCon next week. But uh, for the most part, it's going to be, most of it's going to be a surprise. Because I don't know which studios do or what. Um, but I will tell you the schedule. The schedule as it stands is Sunday night. We get the Sony, pro oh, not Sunday night, I'm flying to Vegas tomorrow. I actually have no plans for the first time um, when I go to Vegas. Um, so I'm going to be there from tomorrow night to Sunday night. I may have to do a chair time talk about why I'm, I'm flying me out tomorrow, mainly because airfare is ridiculous. If I was to fly on Delta, which is my primary airline, it would have cost me 1500 bucks, and I would have had to connect in Atlanta and have four hour layovers and all this other nonsense versus um, there's this new upstart airline that's starting up here in Jacksonville called Breeze Airways and Airlines. And basically um, it's 350 bucks and it's round trip um, direct flight. And I'm like, I would do that all day long over like having to deal with connecting flights and all that nonsense. So yeah, it, it, it should be interesting. So yeah, um, 
I, I'm, le I'm leaving on a jet plane and I should be in Vegas tomorrow afternoon. And normally I don't like to tell people where I am because internet's a kind of funny place, funny, dangerous place these days. Um, but it's CinemaCon, so you all know I'm going to be there. So anyway, uh, so back to back on topic. Sony Pictures is Monday night, so they have a two-hour presentation at about 6 p.m. Um, that starts at 6 p.m., goes to 8 uh, goes to about 8.30, and it's the opening night celebration. So you have a little wine and cheese brie before the, before the doors open, and you go in, and there's a little, they do a little welcome, which will probably take about 10 minutes, but then it's all Sony. And I, for the life of me, can't think of anything that Sony has, because Spider-Man, uh, they'll probably do some announcements for Spider-Man Sunday night, or Monday night, but there's no footage to show because they haven't filmed anything. So how long can that presentation be? They'll probably have Tom Holland and some of the cast either there or on this, or making a video presentation and they'll make some announcements about the upcoming Spider-Man movie. Maybe we'll get some release dates. They may do a sizzle reel for some things that are coming up in the next couple of years. Uh, Ghostbusters, there's no footage for Ghostbusters because that hasn't been shot yet. So as far as I could tell, the only thing they have in the hopper is they have Madam, they have Madam, I think they have a couple of horror movies. They have Madam Web, they have, which has, which is finished shooting, I believe. So I think we'll probably get extended footage of Madam Web, like maybe 15, 20 minute look at Madam Web. And then Craven the Hunter, there's been no no movement, no no news, no promotion, no nothing for Craven the Hunter. And Craven the Hunter is coming out in the fall, so they gotta start ramping that out up. And then there's Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. And last year they gave us uh the first twenty or thirty minutes of Spider-Man across the uh across the Spider-Verse or into the Spider-Verse, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so basically what they did, they showed us the first 20 minutes of the movie, but it was all like just animatronics. It wasn't like the finished product or anything. So we got 20 minutes of that last year. I don't think they're gonna do that again this year. So my guess is we're gonna get a surprise movie drop. A couple of years ago, we got Ghostbusters as a completely out of the blue surprise and they pretty much sort of won CinemaCon that year because they did that. So I think we would get, I know a lot of people probably think we'll get across the universe, um, but across the Spider-Verse, but that is coming out in June. My bet, with that, and there's already like heavy promotion and marketing for that, so they don't, they don't necessarily need the CinemaCon buff. I think what we'll get is maybe a surprise drop for Craven the Hunter. Uh, because that movie shot, I think it's probably in the can by now because it's coming out in October. Um, so there's probably an early work print that could show us. So I'm guessing if Sony believes in this movie, we're going to get a surprise drop of uh, Craven, the Craven the Hunter, uh, Sunday night, Monday night. But it could be across the Spider Verse because that is finished. But my money is on Craven. Let's see if I'm going to be right. On Tuesday, 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 that's going to be the big one, people. The big day. Um, Tuesday is all about Warner Brothers. So Warner Brothers has a presentation from 8.30 to 12.30. Four hours of that nonsense. Four hours of Warner Brothers. I have no idea what Warner Brothers even has coming out. Um, We'll probably get the first trailer for Kong, for the new uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. But I don't know why we would, because that movie's not due to hit the theaters until like next February. So it seems pretty early to start. I know there's a teaser. I know there's they just put out a teaser trailer, but has that movie even filmed yet? I don't know. Um, but it seems really early. We'll get more from Willy Wonka. However, last year we got... 10 or 15 minutes of Willy Wonka last year. I don't see them redoing Willy Wonka again this year, you know, next week. So, yeah, I don't know. 
Um, I think we'll get uh, a lot more of the Blue Beetle. The, and again, the cast will be there. All the, the other thing about these presentations is all the cast are normally at these presentations. So we'll probably get like all the cast out there for like the Blue Beetle. We'll maybe get... You see, this is why I hate it when they drop trailers ahead of a couple of weeks ahead of CinemaCon. It's like, at this point, you might as well just wait until CinemaCon and debut the trailer, man. I mean, why would you uh, debut the trailer like two weeks before CinemaCon? What are you going to do for CinemaCon? I mean, we are there in the audience, so what are you going to give us that's different? Um, so I'm assuming we'll probably get like uh, 10, 15 minutes of the Blue Beetle. We'll definitely get an extended look at Dune 2. Um, we will get an extended look at Aquaman. They better give us an extended look at Aquaman. It's been like, they've been kind of teasing that movie for about, at CinemaCon for about three years now. So they better show us something of Aquaman, um, Tuesday. After that, oh, I was going to say Oppenheimer, but, uh, I don't think, no, uh, I don't think Christopher Nolan did Oppenheimer through, uh, Warner Brothers this time. Um, so I don't know which studio has Oppenheimer. Um, so we're not, so no Oppenheimer. After that, I don't know what the, what they're going to do to fill up two hours. Because the presentation block is four hours. But the first 90 minutes of their presentation, maybe we'll get a, maybe we'll get a surprise movie. Maybe we'll get Dune? No, they wouldn't. Well, maybe. But Dune is, Dune would be a three-hour movie, so... They don't have enough time to show us Doom. Um, would they? Would they give us a uh, Blue Beetle? I don't know. Uh, would Would they show us Blue Beetle in that in that block of time? Mm, I don't know. That that's a hard call because basically they have a four hour block. You have to figure ninety minutes for all the NATO stuff. The the the. You know, where they give awards to little old lady, lady manager, 98-year-old managers who are in, like, I, in the middle of the stints who've been at the, uh, at AMC or Regal Cinemas for 50 years or some, something like that. So, and then they beat their chest about, we made billions of dollars in the movie theaters of that, baby, and all this other stuff. So, they'll do 90 minutes of that. That leaves Warner Brothers with about two and a half hours. Um, to actually promote their stuff. That's plenty of time to do a movie. I'm just not sure what movie they would do. Um, I'm just not really sure what movie they would show us. And I say this because it's officially official, official. The rumors have been going on for about two months. But yes, they are going to show us The Flash um, at two at 2.45 um, in the afternoon. So Warner Brothers presentation is from... 8 to 12, 30, 8.30 to 12.30, then there's a luncheon, and then at 2, then at 2.30, we come back, and, oh, there's a luncheon with, uh, I don't know if that luncheon is on Tuesday or Wednesday, but uh, there's a special luncheon with Martin Scorsese, so it's a whole retrospective thing and a talk with Martin Scorsese, so that should be really cool. I think that is on Tuesday, so you get Martin Scorsese on Tuesday. And then after that, you get, um, you, uh, we get the Flash. So that's going to be awesome. So then we see the Flash. And then Tuesday night, there's a Transformers theme party. Don't know what that's about. But there's going to be a Transformers theme party Tuesday night. Then Wednesday is Disney. And Disney has a three-hour block of time as well. So they're, they're going to be, they're going to be, they were really early in the morning. I think they're like 9.30 to 9.30 to 12, something like that. And they've already announced we're going to get the Boogeyman, which seems really weird because I'm like, why wouldn't Disney show us um, either Guardians either Guardians 3, which releases in a couple of weeks. Why not just drop that in there? And Or Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid is coming in May or coming in May, why not, or June, why not show us from Little Mermaid? But no, they they picked Boogeyman. Um, and actually, the trailer for Boogeyman looks really cool, so I'm really looking forward to that. But since they're showing us a movie, I think what we're going to get from Disney, and Disney always does this, and it drives me nuts, they'll show us the first 30 minutes of Guardians, 
they show us the first 30 minutes of Little Mermaid, and they show us like the first 30 minutes of what do you call of Encanto? Or is it Encanto? Not Encanto, Elemental. So we'll get 30 minutes of each of those three movies, and then we'll get Boogeyman. That will be the Disney presentation. Maybe we'll get some Marvel updates, but generally speaking, Feige. Uh, and Marvel saves all that stuff for Comic Con. They, re they very rarely do that stuff at Cinema Con. Although, I was thinking, did they do that last year at Cinema Con? I think they did some of it at Cinema Con, but they did a bit blow out over at Comic Con. So I'm not expecting much from Marvel um, next Wednesday at the Disney presentation. Then after that, uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go over here. I'm at my computer. Let me, let me go over here and see what the schedule is, what the what the actual CinemaCon schedule is for you guys. CinemaCon, CinemaCon. So, so yes, I am kind of looking forward to this. This should be really good. Uh, hold on. I probably should have done all of this beforehand, but CinemaCon 2023. Uh, schedule of events for CinemaCon. So, and then. Ah, 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 so, so yeah, on Tuesday, it, Tuesday is not going to be the, um, the luncheon with Martin Scorsese. That's just going to be a standard, regular, like, lunch and time to walk the convention floor. The, the thing is, they schedule all this stuff so tightly that it's hard to actually get over to the convention floor. And I love the CinemaCon convention floor because they have all the nice, like, seats, but more than, more importantly... You can have lunch at you can have lunch on the convention floor because they have all the uh they have all the concession owners there and the food is so amazing there. It's awesome. You get tons of like free ice cream, free movie theater, food, and you're like, wait a second, why is the food so good here? But it's never this good in the movie theater. So so it's it's always kind of a fun quick walkthrough. The fun thing to walk through. Um, so yeah, let me, I had the schedule up, so let's see. So yeah, Disney's from 9.30 to 12.30 on Wednesday. And then you get the Martin Scorsese, or the Scorsese, um, from 12.30 to 2. And then from 4 to 6.15, you get Universal Pictures presentation. And I'm still, and I'm still secretly hoping we get a surprise drop uh fast 10. Because Vin Diesel, they did do a surprise drop for two uh Fast and Furious movies. I forget which one. I think they did it for Fast 7. And I believe, and I believe they did it for Fast 8, maybe. I'm thinking they did it for Fast 7. They definitely did it for Fast 7. And I forgot which one they did the other one for. But they had the entire cast out there for... uh. They have the entire cast out there for for that. The problem is I don't think they have enough time to actually show us uh for them to show us um Fast and Furious because the Transformers party starts at six thirty. So there's not enough time for them to show it for them to surprise drop for them to surprise drop uh Fast Ten. So that's gonna suck. And then like I said, there's a dinner party at six thirty. And then next Thursday, we have... Do, 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 I always, always, want is, always want to sing some Elvis when I'm getting ready to go to Vegas, baby. Um, so Thursday from 10 a.m. to 11.45, Paramount Pictures. And that's night. Wow, that is a short block of time. So definitely no Mission Impossible, which sucks. Sucks, because they've been... They've been pushing Mission Impossible at CinemaCon for the last two years. And after the huge success that they had with Top Gun premiering at CinemaCon, I was really hoping we'd get Mission Impossible premiering at CinemaCon this year. The full movie. They did they did like 20 minutes last year and 20 and 10 minutes the year before. Um so I was so looking forward to seeing Mission Impossible two Mission Impossible Ghost uh, Protocol. But no, we're not going to get it because the, the screenings they only have like from 10 a.m. to 11:45. So what we will get is we'll get again the first real 
uh, Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise will probably be there to debut uh, the new footage. So we'll probably get about 20 or 30 minutes of that. We'll probably get uh, a extended, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We'll get a good 10, we'll probably get a good 20 minutes of uh, Transformers Beast Wars. And that's about it. And then from 1215, uh, oh, and then Thursday is when you get the Martin Scorsese thing. I keep pushing the Martin Scorsese thing off. But yeah, Thursday is the, is the day we get the Martin Scorsese. And then at 2.30 p.m., Lionsgate is going to show us the comedy Joyride. And then that's your CinemaCon. 7.30, you get a big screen. You get the big screen achievement awards. No green screen. I haven't seen anything about the green screen. And then at 9.15, you get a party. A party. So there's a party every single night. There's luncheons every day. Um, so yeah, always enjoy CinemaCon because it's a nice, easy laid back show to cover it's not you get a lot of news out you can actually get a lot of news out of it but i think this year um uh, it seems like there's not much news to give because i'm not even sure what the studios are doing this year because all the things i would be interested in aren't even filming yet like ghostbusters like i said ghostbusters that filming wicked has to start filming don't even get me started on wicked being like two in done in two parts uh, Willy Wonka, I don't know what the status is of that. Um, we did see like a good 10 or 15 minutes of uh, finished footage of that. It was like basically a scene with uh, with the full song or something in the trailer. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really interesting week. I'm not sure what to expect. Like I said, I have nothing planned. Um, anything else planned while I'm in Vegas? I may try to do... Um, I don't know. I I don't know. I may I may do a try to do a foodie tour or something on on Sunday. Um, there's a new show that I may try to see tomorrow night. Um, I'm thinking about going hot air ballooning over the Grand Canyon or maybe flying in a helicopter over the Grand Canyon. Um, but generally speaking, I find the Grand Canyon a crushing bore. I I fall into sleep every time I've done like a Grand Canyon excursion. So I'm not really looking. For, don't care about that. So maybe I'll walk around and just shoot some walking tours of various sites in Vegas over the next week during my downtime. So we'll see how it all goes. On two other fronts, upcoming content, lots of cinema, all my CinemaCon recaps um, will be posted every few days next week. So look for those. Um, I still have a review. I still have to talk about my Samsung S95C. And I actually got a chance to talk to one of my favorite people, Austin Basis. Again, he was in the uh, TV show Life Unexpected, which was one of my favorite shows um, back in the day. And I actually did a binge of that like a couple of years ago. He was also in another show I really enjoyed on the CW called uh, Beauty and the Beast. And then he pops up on various things all the time. So you may recognize his face if you see it. And then his latest project is he's actually in the final season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. He actually played, he actually stars as the head of the writer's room. So if you watch Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, you know that she's, uh, she's actually writing for a comedy show. Well, she is actually, um, and he actually plays the head of the writer's room and he's gonna be kind of a mentor character to her for a few episodes this season. And Marvelous Mrs. Maisel is an amazing show. I love that show. It's one of my favorite shows on on streaming, on TV right now. And it has been for a few years. And I'm kind of sad people don't really talk about it nearly as much as they should. And this is the final season. So, yeah, I get to talk to Austin Basis again. So, that video is... I was going to try to get that video posted before I leave. But more than likely, it's going to come out uh, probably next Monday when I get back. So yeah, and then I get back and I go and I see Mean Girls, the musical. So yeah, it's going to be a fun week. So anyway, fun but an expensive week where every meal is going to be like $90. Even if you buy a stupid hamburger. Don't even get me started. And so anyway, talk to you guys later. Next time you see me, I will be uh, in Las Vegas probably complaining about something. It's always something. It's Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana. One said.
So anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about CinemaCon. You probably don't have anything to say because it's not really a public event. But what movies are you guys looking forward to seeing this summer? I, I would be curious to get, to get your feedback. So as always, be kind. We rewind. And I need to get off of social media and just focus on my own stuff going forward because I've been leaving a lot of angry posts on people's videos lately and I'm kind of done with all of that. I mean, you know, there's just a lot of negativity out there and it's starting to get to me a little bit. And then I feel all guilty and I delete all my posts and comments and stuff, but I always feel bad. So anyway, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to try to remain positive and kind of stop watching, especially in the gaming community. I'm going to try to stop watching like gaming related videos or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just going to do my own stuff. I don't really care anymore about anyone else's opinions about, but my own, because basically YouTube is just, just not an ang anger and it's kind of, kind of like seeping into me and I, I want to get it off. So anyway, uh, talk to you guys later. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.